Yeah, we're still the pilot over here. Um, it was a challenge backing, but this was the only spot I could uh, find. Um, and I'm getting better at this, you know, backing with the Jeep. And of course, I had to, uh, I had to block the booster from articulating. I showed this before. Okay, I'll show it again, right? So I gotta drop this air over here. There's a switch in here, so kills the air, and then you kill the air on both tires. Uh, sorry, on both axles. This is for this axle, and that one is for that axle. On this switch, you pull it. You pull it towards towards me, and that drains the air from the airbags. So there's no weight. And then you open these and you flip them down here. And the trick is they have to sit, this part has to sit in here. And what happened yesterday when this thing is not equally, you know, when it's not straight, this thing went in, but that part was sitting here. And I really don't want to push this, you know, into this because it's not designed, these eyes are not designed for for that and so I had to go forward and twist and twist and turn I'm just checking if everything is okay with him yeah it looks good and I have twist and turn like twist a little bit to make sure that this that side went which way this way or that way yeah I think it was at an angle and then I I jumped out, I went back, and when both of these were in here, in the proper position, then I was able to back, because I'm not that heavy, but it is heavy, so you know, you definitely don't want to be doing any stuck driving. And it's getting windy, I just checked the check the uh, the weather forecast for Ontario tomorrow they're expecting snow and yeah you see this is what I was talking about in the video the, uh, uh, driving on the high local roads is this thing you see this thing massive right but it was slightly different one over there yeah, I see like, you see these two hoses over here? They're just lying there, right? So they had this, kind of like similar to that black thing, but double stacked. It was holding those hoses. And, and then of course I moved those to the side over there. And uh, that's how we managed to reduce the height from 15.1 to 13.3. Big difference. And once again, of course, I'm, uh, I'm missing my drop side rail trailer. Now this is a cool look at a friend of mine from Florida known as uh, Frontier Specialized. Now we met through uh, YouTube and he reached out as a fan a few years ago and then we actually met when I was in Florida and he was following my channel while he was uh, working in a different industry and he meticulously specced the speed 389 and i gotta admit i'm not a big fan of peterbilt trucks but his truck with that axle in the front you know everything's so shiny so clean he washes everything probably once a week i'm, I'm guessing but his truck looks good i like it so it's about 305 i think or 300 inch uh, wheelbase he has a 20,000 pound uh, front axle but he went with a smaller tires i think his tires are uh, 365 basically they're slightly smaller than mine but the axle is 20,000 i saw his spec and it's a trail king 55 ton custom built and he has a longer deck i i it was my advice for him to go with a longer than 26 because I'm always in trouble with 26. So his deck is 28, 28 feet long, and it's loaded. He has 18 inches loaded deck height, which is super nice. Mine is 22. 
but on a heavy trailer like mine 60 ton you know usually the 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 heavier the trailer the higher it is because you have to hold all that weight uh, but it's still possible i'm pretty sure it's possible to have a 60 ton with 18 inch deck which would really help with a load like this you know because every you know imagine four inches right so i was 15 one minus four that's already better than nothing that's already 14 7 right and then you can you know like 18 or a drop side rail like my previous one what the the booklet said 14 and a half inches on the sides but again what do you do with the arm you know that's the problem yeah like the whole machine will be sitting lower no i think it would help actually if i had a drop side rail the machine would sit lower probably by i don't know one foot lower than now you know and then they could fold this better so anyway lots of garbage around here see people noticed yesterday when i was flying with my drone discarded tires but it's getting windy it's getting cold so i, I don't want to fly today well uh, both of my batteries are dead on the you know the batteries don't last long and so yeah nice looking truck nice looking trailer so trail king 5555 ton and he has a hydraulic which is cool about his setup he has a hydraulic flip axle in the back like there's a there's a lever on the neck he starts the pto and flips that lever and this thing goes down you know so you don't have to mess you don't have to hire anybody um but i heard he told me that he's getting a booster so he's gonna get a uh, hydraulic booster so he's gonna run three plus one or he can so he can run four axles three axles three plus one and his axle three has air lift super nice you know when you run empty so he he has the flip axle on the top he lifts that one and he just runs on two axles you know makes it easy to maneuver and uh saves on fuel when you're empty so nice nice setup simple eight axles so anyway and i'm stuck here oh and that's uh you that's us 30. i'm still stuck here because because i didn't get my permit because the broker told us it will be 12 6 wide right and i was in a rush as always you always try to order at least the first couple of permits before you load and uh, i did that and i said i'm 12 6 wide and because of that indiana just <clears throat> because there's construction everywhere and today's saturday i'm still waiting anyway i'm just here with the, with the camera i want to take a couple of shots of the truck stop and post them on uh, google maps you know and then we're gonna sit in the truck and watch the trucks coming in that's a good point of view when the trucks are coming there's some uh, cool trucks yesterday i saw a couple of uh, oversized overweight guys uh, one guy had a xl 170 170 and he had a tridem jeep but a regular tridem trailer and tandem truck which didn't make any sense and he had a small machine like a cat 320 on the deck <laughs> but XL 170 you know like mine is 120 thousand right so he's 170 which is what like more than 80 ton uh, rating yeah I wanted to show you some trucks guys but there's nothing it's very it's not busy at all and I think I saw one flatbed guy and everybody else is just driving driving trucks I'm still parked next to Mitch's truck we just went for a walk it's very cold see driving 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 okay we see one uh, uh, cherry color cherry colored uh, western star over there he was trying to turn and this guy blocked him 
Oh, there he goes. Oh, he was looking for parking. So Western Star DSC. 48 foot flatbed utility. So that's the easiest trailer to pull. You know, I still remember with uh, fondness, so to speak, the... Oh, check this out. We're gonna, I'm gonna hide the camera like this, right? <laughs> it's just taking a little bit above my dashboard. So we're kind of spying on people here. Freightliner, Super Old Truck, REK Express, 48 foot uh, step deck, tandem, fixed axles. Uh, steel frame uh, wooden floor that's a bit heavy but it's a very practical design you know now after dealing with uh, uh, IGN trailers I would never buy another trailer with aluminum floor because that just creates so much stress you know for the driver it gets scratched easy, people don't care. You see, it's either reefers over here, I don't know what's going on. Either reefers or or just basic dry bands. But yeah, so I didn't see a single oversized load. Uh, just like, like I said, this is the second uh, or third uh, flatbed or step deck I saw but uh, what I mentioned why I remember this short flat with fun is because they're so easy to to pull you know and that was my first uh, trailer when I went through class at uh, McKinnon it was a load securement class when I was switching from dry van to uh, to flatbed right there was a two-day class they just taught us you know how to work with chains and binders stuff like that and then they gave me because i didn't have my trailer yet so they gave me a company typical 48 flat and uh, most of the time i was doing something that i know now are super cheap loads uh, timber brick concrete and uh, aluminum you know like bundles of uh, aluminum poles and of course there's lots of tarping going on when you're pulling a flatbed uh, less so with a step deck and step deck was just more fun because you know you deal with equipment i love working with equipment with all these you know, like little farm tractors uh, and there's less tarping i hate tarping you know it just takes so long and it's dangerous especially in winter so and yeah so they're saying they were saying on the on the on the news that uh, uh, snow is coming to Ontario and to uh, northern US and here yeah the sky does look kind of like suspicious it's getting cold you know strong wind yesterday the weather was much better so perfect for a drone flight like my drone is uh, pretty small it, it doesn't doesn't take the wind uh, very well so all right so hope you enjoyed this video um, I'll just attach some pictures over here that I took today and if you want to see more of my my photos uh, check out sergey-drachev.pixels.com see ya